Our public plumbing is getting old. America's waterworks were cutting edge when they were built a hundred years ago, but a lot has changed. Cities have grown, technology has advanced, and climate change has brought longer droughts, stronger storms, and rising temperatures. The American Society of Civil Engineers gives our drinking and wastewater infrastructure a D grade. We can and must do better. The next wave of water investments should be small scale and tailored to local needs. In the Southwest, that means replacing thirsty lawns with desert-friendly gardens. In the Midwest, it's restoring wetlands and making room for rivers. In cities, it's swapping pavement for plants. And upstream, it's protecting the forests that feed our rivers and reservoirs. These local solutions are cheaper than big dams and pipelines and create jobs and communities. Many rely on nature and provide bonus benefits like green space, cleaner air, and cooling. We're seeing towns across the country embrace localized infrastructure. Seattle has helped homeowners build more than 1,600 rain gardens to catch and clean runoff. Hoboken is using parks with underground storage tanks to reduce flooding and sewage spills. Denver is replacing lead pipes in people's homes to ensure safe water and reduce treatment costs. Historically, this kind of on-site solution has made up a tiny percentage of water spending. But a series of small projects can make a big difference. By stretching water supplies and preventing pollution, we can reduce the need for more costly projects and keep water bills down. The future of water is local. It's time to update our waterworks with solutions that will serve our communities for the next 100 years.